okay, so this here is the funniest thing. <laughs> Yesterday and probably last night, Digital and Shout Up and French put up these videos. And they're like, I've tried to make a video like three times. <laughs> and normally, me personally, I'm a, I'm a bit of a one-take Charlie. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can fire it up and should let it rip. But this, this is the third take. You've missed me talking about felons. You've missed my dog chewing on his own ass. <clears throat> and now here we are. Apparently, uh, I'm not equipped to talk about those things just yet this morning. What I am equipped to talk about, or actually ask about, I know uh, Glock Punisher 1 has one of these, and I know GunBlast.com just reviewed it. What do you guys think of that car CM40, huh? I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> not, that, not that I would ever get rid of my... Uh, my Glock 19 carry option, but I think the whole uh, the whole caliber thing. <clears throat> every time, every time my one buddy's home and he's here to to give me shit about carrying a nine millimeter instead of a instead of a, a sufficiently powerful cartridge, <laughs> always gets me shopping for the for the forty. I uh, I got no problem with the 40 caliber, and in the my Glock 19 one gun option video, I talk about the nine millimeter being a a defensive round, and somebody had asked me on that video, what do I mean by that? Meaning uh, defensive? What do you mean? I mean, can't a person use a nine millimeter in an offensive role? Yeah, perhaps. But I've I've since had time to think about it. If you have a if you have a nine millimeter bullet, which is which is pretty low on power. Yeah, yeah, I said it. Nine millimeters low on power. And if you want to comment down below to try to convince me otherwise, you'll be just exposing your own ignorance. When a cartridge is so low on power as the nine millimeter, it needs to say go from that barrel to tissue <laughs> do i need to say more you're in a defensive encounter odds are you won't need to shoot through a barrier if there's a barrier between you and your target in a civilian defensive encounter then you need to consider leaving the situation the 40 on the other hand it's a faster and heavier bullet and with a bonded construction allows for the bullet to travel through barriers without as much deflection as you get with a nine millimeter. So the, the 40 cal is a little bit more of an offensive role, meaning you can, you can advance through barriers. That's what I mean by the, the nine millimeter being almost purely a defensive cartridge, which is absolutely fine for what it is. Uh, you know, going to going to Forty Smith, it could be a little bit personal too. You know, when I when I go down to the range and you know I'm shooting the shooting the Glock 19 or or a, another type of nine millimeter. You know, be it the Ruger, or the the Smith and Wesson. You can't shoot all day and everything, and you can put some plus P stuff in there and some 147 or maybe some NATO. But the um, the recoil from a from a good hardy forty load is is, is a lot of fun. <laughs> it makes you feel like you're really doing something. Similar to shooting a you know a a higher caliber rifle, you you feel like you're doing something. You're shooting a bolt action three oh eight or a bolt action thirty out six. <laughs> you feel like you're doing something. Um, I know what I don't want to run into with getting this car CM40 is is it because I want the car PM40 and if I want the car PM40 
do I have any business actually shopping for the CM40? It'd be like, oh, I, I want a I want a Chevy Corvette, so I'll buy a Chevy Impala with the V6 because it's very powerful, or you know, whatever. Well, no, you wanted the Vet. Yeah, they're both Chevys, but you wanted the Vet, remember? <laughs> <clears throat> no offense to anybody that's gone with a CM40. Uh, you know, I what what makes the CM40 from car appeal to me is the reputation and quality of the PM40. So anybody who has experience with both, not just one or the other, I, I understand that that some watching this may have the CM40 and haven't had a, a single hiccup and are getting incredible accuracy with it and they love it to death what I'd like to know is the people who have both the PM model and the CM model and I want to know if I would be missing out on something because I'd hate to miss out on something and if it's just a matter of a of a shinier American version of something that I already have then you know why even bother uh, but uh, if you really don't know the difference, can't tell the difference personally with the CM and PM after uh, a thousand rounds or so, uh, <clears throat> go ahead and let me know. I'm really curious.